Hey guys, just got home from the gym, had a chest workout today, and did my 250 calories worth of cardio. Um, feeling really good about my body. I think progress is really good. Um, I want to say today I actually weighed in pretty heavy. I was at 177 point something it's on the video. Um, so I didn't actually hit my goal last week of 174. However, I'm pretty sure I did. Um, I just had, you know, like food in my stomach and uh, I feel kind of bloated, stuff like that, factors like that. Um, so I want to say I, I did have both 2,700 uh, calorie days. Um, and so I think my body right now is just kind of... Uh, probably getting rid of all the carbs, to be honest, because I think I ingested a good amount of carbs. Um, so yesterday was a 2,000 calorie day. Yesterday was Monday. So that was a 2,000 calorie day. Today is a 1,650 calorie day. Um, I did do a little overeating over the weekend, so I'm going to have to make up for that. Um, I, I find that as long as everything that I eat is tracked, if I, for some reason, am really in the mood for one thing, and let's say it's 250 calories more, if I push it to the other day, but as long as I get that deficit down, I'm okay with it. Um, I think that's one of my things that I've kind of been doing lately, and it's really been helping, like, keep me motivated, keep me on track. Um, so... My goal for this week right now is to get to 172.5. Um, now, my weight right now is 177.58, I don't know, five, eight, something like that. It's really high. But my actual probably body fat percentage, uh, when we take out all the excess liquids, not body fat percentage, but my actual weight, if you take out all the uh, liquids and everything, I'm probably about 174. Um, I'm just hiding it really well. Um, also, I could be one bathroom trip away from being there, who knows. Um, <laughs> don't really like talking about that, but at the end of the day, that is one of the factors that also leads to my body weight. So, as of right now though, okay, so I'm feeling good, I'm feeling really shredded, I feel like I'm looking good. Um, I just need to hit my weight and I think I'll feel even better. Um, so just because I didn't hit 174 with my eyes, pretty sure I'm there, but I didn't hit it, but that doesn't mean my goal this week changes. So my goal for this week is 172.5. Um, I'm lifting every single morning this week so far two two out of the five days, uh, are in. So today's day two of that, um, getting back in because I kind of stopped working on the mornings and now I'm just re getting into it. We are going to get to that goal weight, even if I have to start doing cardio in the afternoon after I get home from work. So um, I'll probably do that a couple days just to erase any any of my extra eating. Um, but again, everything's been tracked, so I kind of know what I have to do. Um, so we'll get there. Just got home from the gym. On to meal number one for today. Probably an ideal breakfast for me, especially after a lift. So I'm having six eggs, one whole egg, five egg whites, 52 grams of turkey, and I weighed it in at four grams of mozzarella cheese. Um, and then I'm also having a little bit of carbs. I'm having one packet of the Quaker Oats oatmeal so 110 calories, and then one slice of my keto bread toast. Um, so in total, this is 406 calories, um, a good amount of protein, probably about 50 grams of protein. Um, I haven't actually logged it yet, um, and I haven't really planned out today. So today will be a little different, especially when I'm on 1,650 calories. I have ideas of what I almost always have the same breakfast, so it's not that big of a deal, like kind of just eating whatever, because um, I have an idea. But for the other meals, I definitely will need to kind of prep a little bit more uh, and plan out. 
but overall just a great amount of protein and a great amount of carbs, especially something that you would want, especially after a lift. Um, and it's filling. It is time for meal two. Just got home from work uh, on lunch break. Um, and right now I'm just making my eggs. I have a very weird habit of, I have like, I think it's three dozen eggs in like a little container. And I always go through and like select the biggest egg. Because uh, either way, I'm counting as 70 calories. So it's kind of, I don't know, I, I thought that was kind of funny that each time I'm always looking for the biggest egg. And then I have a period where all the eggs are just like tiny. Um, which for the most part, it's probably like 2% bigger. We are getting everything going. Have my egg whites, the egg whites that I had to go to when Costco was out. Um, kind of weird that it's Bob Evans. I feel like they're actually like one of the biggest sellers of egg whites, which they're a breakfast company. I don't know. I just I find that a little weird. They're not retail. But it's kind of weird how somebody like them, like you think of them, they're a breakfast chain, right? And then you kind of find out, oh, they like run the egg white business. Like, I feel like they're, they're everywhere. All right, so I have, eh, I guess a, not really a couple of updates. Um, I just feel like I lately with filming, I'll like film a meal or two and then I end up like missing a meal because of one reason or another. Just been super busy. Um, also, I kind of knew starting in April, I'm really shooting for five to seven videos a week, which can be a lot of effort and work, um, but I'm committing to that. But I think knowing that I was coming up to that, I kind of slacked off a little and took a little bit of a break. Um, so that's on me, sorry. I, I know some of you are like, hey, you okay? <laughs> and cause, yeah, it was like six days, but um, everything's been going well though. Like my diet and everything, I haven't stopped dieting or anything, but just kind of, I guess I wasn't just, I just wasn't happy with some of the content. So I was like, eh, I'll wait. Especially since the longer it goes, the better you want the video to be. Um, so that is the main reason, but I am back now. Back and better than ever. Not at a low weight, but uh, I'm pretty sure right now I'm I'm about one one. I I'd be surprised if I wasn't one seventy four um, after bloating. So I just kind of gotta you know. I think by the end of this week though, I will be at my one seventy two point five because that's my goal for this week. Um, and if I'm not, I will just do cardio and cardio and cardio. So starting this week though, I'm getting up earlier. So I'm getting up at 4.30 a.m. Um, mainly because if I do that, then I'm at the gym by five o'clock, uh, which I love being there that early because my gym opens at five. And so it was really weird because I think today's the first day that I actually went there that early. Um, and so there's actually like a lot of activity, like that's when everybody's getting there. But then once you get inside, there's like nobody there. So it's a little interesting. Um, but yeah, I, I think my gym's actually pretty packed at, um, I think normally I'd get there at like 5, 15, 5, 20. It was pretty packed then actually. So got there, uh, I've been just kinda, I, I mean, I'm, I was used to like getting up kinda early. Um, so it's not that bad. I think yesterday was, I was pretty tired, uh, but today I feel normal and I actually have like normal energy. So that's good. Um, cause I've been getting up at like 4.45 for a bit and it's like only 15 minutes. That's not a big deal. Um, so we'll see how I do. I, I think today I'm doing really good, um, energy wise. So, um, but anyways, going to be doing that, getting to the gym that early, and then kind of getting to work, like maybe an hour and a half early. Um, doing some editing, some other things, getting stuff done at that time. Um, for the longest time, I've been wanting to get up that early, and now I'm finally doing it, so it's nice. But yeah, so, so far my weight's been doing good. 
Um, just kind of getting into a whole routine. So you guys saw my breakfast earlier with the six eggs, uh, one thing of toast and some oatmeal, and yet I get home and I'm starving. So, and that was 400 calories. I mean, that's a filling breakfast, but yet I'm still hungry. So today is going to be eggs and a lot of toast, but I'm looking forward to it. So for some reason, I've actually really been going through this bread a lot, because I know before I was kind of throwing some out because of mold, um, which typically happens within two weeks, about there. Um, but I'm having four, four slices of this. I guess mainly because I've been having French toast lately. Um, and it's actually really healthy, especially with my recipe, because uh, I think the last one I did, which I don't know if I, it made it to video or if it, I might have not had enough footage, so I was just like, oh, I'll just push it, maybe. Um, well, no, I, I don't I don't put two days of content together. So, like, if you're seeing what I'm eating, that's exactly what I ate for the day. I don't put, like, half of one day and half for the other. So, I might have filmed the French toast, but I didn't film, like, the rest of the day. So, you just didn't see the French toast, unfortunately. Um, so, my bad. So I actually have a pretty good French toast recipe and it was really just in, I, I think before I had a whole egg and this time I just had one egg white um, that I had one tablespoon or teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of cinnamon, uh, a half cup of milk, or it might be a quarter. Ah, you'd have to see the actual video. I'll, I'll make one soon. But um, basically, at the end of the day, uh, turning my keto bread into French toast is actually a relatively low calorie uh, thing to do. And it tastes really good too. So I think that's mainly why I've been going through that bread so quickly, because I mean, I think French toast alone is about six slices. Uh, I got some sugar, reduced sugar, jelly, something like that. I put that in yesterday's video. Um, and that tastes really good, like even with how thin it is on the bread, like that's a really good snack and that bread is so filling. Uh, I think my only negatives to that is I'm probably getting too much fiber, which who gets to flex like that? You know, too, I'm having too much fiber. Um, but I don't know, it's, it's just really good. So I think those two things have really been getting me to go through it. Let's see, physique wise, I'm pretty confident in my goal. I feel like right now it's hard to see because I think I weighed in at like 177 today. That's very high. Um, oh, I, I actually I was starting to talk about this and I got off, off track. Um, this week I'm, I'm actually going to my gym, LA Fitness, in the mornings. Uh, and I'd say the last couple of weeks I've been going to my apartment gym uh, so whenever I go to LA Fitness, you know it's a more intense workout. So yeah, I'm definitely hitting my caloric goals for expenditures. But yeah, so I'm gonna just start going there in the mornings uh, and just lifting, doing my 250 calories worth of cardio after. Uh, and then every now and then I'll either go and lift with my, uh, my roommate or I will go and do some cardio. Um, especially because like I had that key lime pie, I'm still kind of in debt on paying off the cardio, off the calories for that uh, key lime pie. So I'll probably make that up with some cardio. Not today, but probably Wednesday, Wednesday and Friday. This is my meal number two. Today is a 1,650 calorie day. Uh, so I'm having my six eggs one whole egg, five egg whites, 52 grams of turkey, uh, four, about four grams of some fat-free mozzarella cheese. And I just put in like one of the ends of a tomato because you always cut them up for sandwiches and why throw them away. So I just kind of threw in one of the ends, uh, not counting the calories for that. Um, just to switch it up, this is my second time having eggs today. Um, so gotta, you know, switch up a little. Uh, and then I'm having four slices of my keto bread. Uh, love this bread. I feel like the taste is growing on me more and more. Um, and it's maybe a little more, I don't know. It might be perfectly toasted, we'll see. 
Um, so this is what I'm having. Um, I actually was supposed to meal prep some ground beef, so I'm not having eggs twice a day. Um, which, eggs twice a day on a low calorie day like today is perfect. Uh, but then it gets a little old, and also you guys are probably getting bored of seeing me eat eggs. Um, so I was gonna have it so that I'm having eggs in the morning, and then for lunchtime it'd be like ground beef or something. Um, but the ground beef I had kinda didn't smell the best, so I ended up throwing it out, unfortunately. Um, so I'll have to buy some more. Uh, I think it, it, I kinda got it, and then I, I sat on it a little too long. Um, I should've cooked it sooner. <laughs> All right, so my last video was on your step three, kind of on uh, what to do for weight loss after you've kind of mastered, not really mastered, but after you've gotten used to logging your foods, learning how to track your calories, um, and then basically, you know, just kind of slowly progressing, eating less and less calories, um, slowly capering it. I think that is by far the best way to do it. Um, so after that, I mean, I think once you can do that, you can kind of then go to your proteins, carbs, fats, and really just, I think once you're, you're doing that, then you're kind of doing it. You're losing weight. You should be losing weight. So if you guys have any more questions just on that stuff, uh, maybe you're trying a different diet and you want me to like look over something, look over how many calories you're on or I don't know, something like that, just let me know. Uh, I'd be happy to help look into something, um, answer any questions really. Uh, we'll see. I think I'm actually in the cycle, though, of, like, losing weight now, and I think you've seen it. I mean, I'm already over 10 pounds down, and that's on a bad day, so, yeah, making progress. All right, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I think I have a lot more content, different ideas coming out in the near future, um, so stay tuned for that. Hey guys, just got home from work, having a post-work snack. Uh, I'm not working out or anything like that, so this is more just because I like them. Uh, so I'm having one of the Quest Hero protein bars. This one is a cookies and cream. This protein bar, it's 150 calories and 18 grams of protein. Uh, one of the better tasting ones and it has a great texture to it. Um, this is one of my favorites. Guys, on to my final meal for today. I decided to make a giant salad. Uh, so today is obviously my low calorie day, 1,650 calories. So in this, we have about eight cups of lettuce and then nine ounces of some cut up uh, deli meat ham. So in total for this, it is 444 calories, 59 grams of protein, 36 grams of carbs, and only four grams of fat. So hey guys, so I didn't exactly finish my salad, uh, but I will be finishing it eventually today. Um, so I kind of wanted a different, I don't know, I guess taste almost. So I'm actually gonna have 70 calories of some frozen mango, which it's only, well, not only, it's 123 grams of frozen mango. So that's actually a good amount of volume there. Um, so I, I feel like since I had that salad, it was actually very filling. Um, and I know that before I had that key lime pie the other day and I'm still trying to kind of make up for that. So I think one of my ideas was to make one of my 2000 calorie days a 1500 calorie day. Uh, and right now I feel like I can actually do that. like hunger wise, like my body will actually allow me to do that. So I'm gonna do that today. Um, and then that means I just have to do like one kind of like cardio session, because I think I went over by a thousand calories, which most people are like, wow, a thousand calories, you went over by a thousand? You can get there so easily. That's like three cookies, like small cookies, but yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, so kind of making up for that. Um, and I think because of that, the 1500 calories will definitely hit our goal of 172 and a half by the end of this week. Um, we'll get there. So that will bring my eating for today up to 1500 calories, 177 grams of protein, 168 grams of carbs, 
and 38 grams of fat. So the spots where I would actually try to do a little bit better, since I'm such low calorie, I would actually try to maybe add a little more protein, but my protein's already up there. I mean, I already got one gram of protein per pound, and that is my bare minimum, I feel, uh, what I really strive for. Um, so I did hit that, so that's at least good. Um, carbs, uh, my workouts have been a bit more intense, so higher carbs will definitely be helping me out. Um, I do kind of want to get my fats up a little bit, but then again, I mean, I'm at the 1500 calories. So, I mean, I'm working pretty well with what I have, actually. I'm really happy with how far I hit everything.